baby, Jim Bob back with you once again, bringing you a banger of a video. Uh, just a disclaimer before we get too far into this, if you're looking for uh, some hardcore PvP, you're not going to find it here. This is a raid on a clan that uh, was currently offline, and I know uh, a lot of you don't like that, but uh, these guys had hit me months uh, ago and I stopped playing on that server and held a little small stash on my island. And I went back to it recently just because it was something to do and I found their base uh, in the jungle here at M5. And uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to have a little peek inside. And I waited a few nights to see if they'd be online, but they were pretty inactive at this point. So I took my pre-maids, uh, a couple hundred of them, and I started ripping into their base. The clan's name was ARP, A-A-R-P, and they were led by an individual named Larry. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you will have seen that we have destroyed Larry in the past. I'll throw the link in the description of the video in the event that you want to check out the backstory. These guys were built on a mountaintop in the jungle in M5-M6, a uh, mountaintop that I like to call Stony Shrine Mountain. I call it that just being, nobody else calls it that by the way, but I call it that because it's the first playthrough that I ever did with Stony McNaught, who makes an appearance later in this video as well. And uh, the neat thing about this mountaintop is there is a cave uh, that not many players know about, and uh, I thought maybe, you know what, I'd, I'd have a little peek inside. I checked out their tower. Uh, and you saw that in the first minute of the video, and all they had up there was a summoning stone with some blood in it. Uh, there were no benches or zero chests whatsoever. And as I was coming down from the tower, I saw lights in this building that I'm bombing on now. So this is where their uh, main benches are, and I'm diving into their main crafting room. Their main crafting room was full of thralls, so it took me a minute to get in there, and I died a couple times, unfortunately. Oh. I fell in, and uh, they took care of business. They did what they were designed to do. Um, and I came back with some poison arrows and eventually eliminated the enemy force inside the crafting area. It was a tight space, and I didn't really have a whole lot of uh, room to maneuver, so I had to go poison arrow route. Once the enemy force was eliminated, I immediately set out on taking out any beds and uh, just kind of having a good detailed look around. Uh, I looted some of the uh, thrall armor pieces because literally I had, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred pre-mades and my own set of gear and a set of tools and that was pretty much it. So I was pretty happy to find these benches relatively full with mats. And uh, so I started looting, and what I discovered quickly is that I was going to need some storage. A lot of storage, because these benches were juicy. Now, they had, in, a, in an attempt to kind of hide their benches, they had taken all of their worker thralls off the benches, any of the ones that make noise, and they placed them on the bench. Uh, a lot of the other uh, benches had the worker thralls. Uh, still on them like this shield right here which I was super pumped to get. Now you can see I'm struggling with a little bit of my inventory just because uh, I'm carrying so many pre-mades and I'm getting a ton of loot. So what I do here and what I suggest anyone else do in this kind of situation is slap down a couple vaults. Stony Shrine Island is great uh, in the sense that it's got a tree that uh, attaches to the island so once you uh, place your vaults outside of their land claim you can run back up the tree route and get back into the action relatively quickly. What I noticed on my first journey into this base was that all of the chests were left unlocked and to me that is a sign of a few things. Uh, experienced Conan players will recognize unlocked chests as a sign that the people that own the base don't want you to really blow it up that much. Um, in some cases, you know, for inexperienced players, they might just not want you to break their benches because they might view that as it being difficult to replace. But Larry is clearly a experienced player and he knows what he's doing so the sign the, the sign to me that there's something fishy going on maybe there's some hidden loot or 
some hidden chests was the fact that he left every single box unlocked and it was juicy let me tell you this is day one of the raid and uh, I am literally filling vaults with good high quality materials so you know if I wasn't as experienced and I got this kind of loot I would probably think that that was it that there's nothing else to get in here and I would probably just leave it be and if I did that I would have made a huge mistake sheer amount of loot in these chests was exceptional and I knew if I was going to come back to the server and start playing here once again uh, that I'd be set up and in good shape and I wanted to make sure I was very thorough going through every single bench and that's what I'm doing here unfortunately for me time was becoming a factor I was quickly running out of raid time and I wanted to make sure that I could access all of the parts of the base um, still not realizing that maybe there were some hidden spots that uh, I should really look into this room here was the carpenter's room and I could tell uh, just by peeking my head through the door that uh, the carpenter's bench and the artisan benches were were awaiting on the other side and I wanted to access them too I mean I had the rest of the base in my grips and uh, I could loot that after raid time, but I wanted to make sure I was able to access the carpenter's room. I thought maybe some of those chests might be loaded with some things that I might be looking for. At this point, I hadn't really found any dragon powder aside from maybe 20 in that one chest that you saw earlier. So uh, that's kind of what I was on the lookout for here. Arrows, uh, poison arrows, explosive arrows, and dragon powder. I hadn't really come across that yet. And I knew that if they had all of this stuff, if they had lone fishermen on every cauldron, if they had T4 thralls in all their benches, if their chests were this stocked full of crystal and other great things, I figured, well, they probably have some dragon powder in here too. And that's what kind of preempted me to have a little bit better of a look around. And so I dive into the carpenter's bench here. And as I'm going through this bag, I discover Shoo! this. Circa of the Silt, baby. Yes, sir. Very super rare T4 Thrall Archpriest of the Zath religion. It only spawns in two points in the uh, entire game. Um, and I've only maybe owned one on a less than a less I can probably count on my two hands the amount of times I've owned a Circa of the Silk and it was usually from stealing them from other players and raids uh, I only ever farmed one uh, the real good old-fashioned way by knocking them out they are super hard to find and finding that one in the box was you know I've, I've got five six thousand hours in the game so you know like it takes a lot to get me excited now uh, in terms of loot and uh, finding a circa of the silk was was pretty awesome so with about 20 minutes left in raid time I kind of went about emptying out what I could and storing things in different places that I could access again after raid time I had a sneaking suspicion that maybe the vaults outside were full too and uh, they had about six vaults placed around the perimeter of their base and curiosity was really getting to me here um, I hadn't found any dragon powder like I had said so I decided to 
uh, take what little time I had left and, and the Boombas that I had on me and venture outside to the vaults and just have a peek into a couple of them to see what was going on. The tricky thing about working on uh, vaults is the fact that he had an army of thralls on the outside of the base too and so as soon as I started making some noise over here that army of thralls wanted to get in on the action and I didn't have enough time to wipe them out. So um, I had to be very strategic and methodical with my approach here and you can see that I've put down about 23 bombs before lighting. Now this vault had full health. It used to take me 25 bombs sending them on top to explode a vault. But now I'm down to 23. So I don't know. I, I believe Funcom may have increased the damage on the Boombas. But if you are destroying vaults, if you put 23 bombs on top of the vaults, that will explode it. Just like that one. Uh, the, the thralls were pretty upset here that I had done this to their vault and you can see a big bag in the distance that I'm super excited to get but I had to de-aggro the thralls before I could go and snag the bag and once I opened the bag I realized okay there's some good stuff in here not like super great by any means it seemed to be a little bit more of things that they had inside their base still no dragon powder which was frustrating me I knew there had to be something else that I was missing and so I took one last peek inside but I really couldn't find anything so I took my goods and went home, and I slept on it. And I had this crazy hunch that I was missing something. So I decided to go back the very next night and keep poking around. And uh, the hunch was good. Some actual in-game comms are coming soon, but before I get there, I just wanted to show you uh, what tipped me off to the fact that there was definitely hidden loot here. As I started bombing out some of the benches towards where that cave is uh, that I mentioned, uh, this island where this mountaintop contains, a floor a tile popped and there was a chest inside with loot. Again, the chest was open. Loot wasn't that great but it was a sign to me that there were hidden things in the space. And so it renewed my resolve to get into the cave. I figured that if there was going to be anything hiding in this place, that's where it would be.
Yes, he did. I just want to grab those uh, the rams. rams just in case. Yes. Do we need to shoot down on an angle to hit in there? Probably. Yeah, that's what that's what I was working on. Yeah, so <laughs> I had been working that down there a little bit, so I wonder if. Uh, no. It was it was a foundation from over here. All right, let sure? me know when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah, you sure. Never doubt Stony. You can always doubt me. I just laugh at you from time to time. Take our time with this. You can see yeah. You can see those chests, but I don't want to pop other shit. You know what I mean? What broke? Can so you still see chests? Repair hammer would have been smart. Yeah, you, there's like a little tiny crack. If you look right here, you can see the fridge. Okay, I just... It's gonna be juicy. Do you have a repair hammer? I do not. Uh, I know there's... Wood and twine. Oh, wait. In there. Yeah, I got twine what? on me. I got twine on me. Oh, wow. There's buffs in here. Where? Uh, well, inside the fridge in here. Carpenter's bench room. Oh, I didn't empty it out earlier. Oh, and there's strength and bigger buffs. Okay, so this one foundation's at 22. This one's at 87. Which one, the one is at 22? The, the one that right we, in front? Yeah. What about this one right here? That's like... Okay. So we're putting a dent in it anyways.
Is there? Oh, I'm oh in. you got in? I'm in, dude. Oh my. Oh, they're all locked. Oh, this is full of set feast. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. I needed some good food. My God, look at this. Look at this, Tony. Are they all? Are they all locked? Yes. Oh my god, dude, this is going oh, to be Oh, this is going to be AIDS getting out. Okay. Was it? No, you just have to climb straight forward. Yep. Okay, okay. So, All right, so one bomb at a time. Yeah. You, get back down. you gotta run at it and then crouch. Or climb down. That's gonna be H trying to light and climb out. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do that. Oh. We'll chain reaction. Okay. Yep. Okay. You ready? I think that's the play. Yeah. Slit. So we'll have to watch that fridge for the Sephi stay. Got a loot bag. You got a loot bag. And yep, there's a loot bag and the the set or the the feast popped up. Wow. Oh. Okay. So I have to. Did you get the set feast? Yes. Okay. You're probably close to being full then. Goodbye. Uh, there's 122 items plus how much? How much does the fridge hold? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Yeah, I'll wait for you. That's dark. Doesn't make for good video content. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I like my uh, edited files, yeah, I wise. Switch them back. We'll wait till daytime. I'll see. Okay, I, I can see half decently here. Okay. I'll go and get back to it. Yep. Okay, so do you think that's the play? Like one. I would. One bomb. Yeah, one bomb. What is uh? What does everything in there look as far as damage wise? These chests are like seventeen. There's okay. a couple chests on the other side that are getting low. And if the bottom one pops, then the fucking top one's going yep. to So, I think one bomb is still the play. Okay. You gonna do the chain? Yeah. I wonder how much extra damage I'm doing by doing that. But, we'll, uh... You only live once, eh, Stony? Yep. I mean, when we're, you're yeah, good. Yeah, we're good. Let her up. Yeet. Um, I think I see a bag. I do. Oh, 90 items. And it is 100% bombs. Boomba. You want it? You uh, want me to get it? You get that one. Oh, that's a good sign, Stony. There. You just delete this. Let's see what happens. No. Oh, would you like to hear some news? Sure. It's potentially not mine. Oh no way. Oh, big bag. Uh, 171 items in that one, and 251 items in this one back oh, here. Buddy. Thralls. Thralls? This is I'm nice. going after the Thralls first. Yeah, this has bombs. Oh, I got almost all of it, dude. I'm so glad that we uh, dumped stuff earlier. Lone Fisherman. Do we need black? Oh my god, that's four Thralls. Do we need black ice? No. Okay, well, I will continue picking up 
Oh, Name shit. throws. Yeah. You might want to stay in this bag, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you full or? Nope, I'm still looting. <laughs> I kind of want that hard steel. Okay, hold on. Are you cool to stay in that bag for a minute? Yeah, because I'm I'm still looting throws. Juicy, buddy. The juice. The juice. Need any don't demon eat. blood? Actually, yes. Okay. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Grab the rest. Now, let me inventory here. Two shield rights. Um. Three shield, four shield rights. <laughs> Let me go type instead. Um, type still didn't do it. Um, name? No, nope. name doesn't do it either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 cooks. Oh, oh we hit the mother load, buddy. This Hashtag be... rich. This might be one of our juiciest finds in a long time. Okay, well, uh, if that vault isn't full now, it ain't got much slots. It may or may not be mine. You realize that we're gonna have to do another paternity test. Or yep, I out. I know. So I need I need some more definite results, you know. Oh big bag. Is it? Get it stone, get it. Pick? Oh obsidian. Base. Oh, that's a that's a. You got that right. No. Did you? What? I'm joking. Yes, I got oh, it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a dick, Stony. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Mike. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, 253 items. Oh, buddy. Battering rams and two yes. and more bull and bombs. bombs. You know what? I love battering rams. Well, yeah, you can snag those. I, I don't think we. I need the cure. I don't like you need the cure act in there. Yeah, like I'll take that the spider climb, but you don't want the redeem leading. I already got like a bunch of tools from him yesterday. Hey, repair hammer, give me a repair hammer. Oh. Okay. You let me know whenever you're done. <sighs> what? Oh. <laughs> Did you light it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing two bags. Oh, 80, 82 building mats, tar, tar, iron re, and steel re. Ooh. More juice, Tony, more juice. Did you grab it? Get out of my inventory. Okay, I can't. Give me a moment, I'm still trying to depot. 45 um, pieces, mostly Musashi's Black Blades and other agility weapons. Let's see. A bag. 97 items. Weapons. Ooh. 
Ooh, blood crystal. Dog's edge. Map making material. Man, I pulled a fucking boatload of weapons out of here yesterday, too. Sword of Chrome. Can you set the press? Um, I'm just. There you are. You got this. Huge bag. Oh my. What the hell? Weapons and tar. Yep. Bring her out, Stony. No. Oh. Damage to that. Do you have. Ooh. You don't know how bad I loom bag. Thirty-seven items of hands and gold and silver. Another big bag back here. Ninety-nine items. Iron. Iron brick. Kits. Mods. Yeah, I see that. I think a loop bag. One hundred ninety-nine items. Yes. Ooh. Yes. What was that? Yes. Um. Sir, elephant hide, feline pelt, fur, layered fur, tar, star metal, hardened leather, layered silk, and all the paddings. Yeah. Do you have bombs? I do now, yeah. Okay. Got bombs I'm gonna go space. find a. I'm gonna go find a uh, a box. Okay. That's 199. So I'm gonna need more than just a box. We got bark, we got bone, bone for days, insulated wood, and shaped wood. That's a lot of fucking dragon. How, uh, how much are you fucking fighting that? That? Ah, oh, DP. What? There's another thing. Keep going. Oh. I think so. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's a lot of DP, my guy. That's money shot. Fucking right, dude. That, that right, bag well, must have uh, popped late. Yeah, you, you're gonna have that. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah. That's it. I don't that yeah, cause like... That's server wiping materials right there. Oh my god. I... Alright. Part of me wonders if this is... Legit loot or dupe loot? A duped mine, maybe, from my huge base here. I was fucking wealthy as fuck here. Who, who's in the clan with you here? Oh. Uh, Johnny Jafari. Okay. Most of oh. me and me and him. Okay. Where's he at? All the premates we took back in. Oh, I did not put the cork back in the bottle. Get while you can. 
because they're getting ready to nerf the spawn rates again. Are they? Yep. On T4 thralls? Or like on all T4. Okay. Do I already have a place to put stuff? One of my biggest loot hauls ever, if you made it all the way to the end. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Cheers.